Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arslan Tanvir. Today I am with the Research Stream channel. Today I am going to discuss two basic problems that arise in the e-views while we are going for the asymmetric analysis or while we are using the NARDL model, non-linear non autoregressive distributive lag models. So the first problem arises when we make the non-linear autoregressive distributive lag equation it shows us an error so let's start with the video uh, i will tell you how which sort of problems are there also in the second section of this video we are focused on the wall test why we are going to conduct the asymmetric analysis so in this video we will discuss about the two issues the first is the error with the non-linear equations while we are making non-linear ARDL and secondly we will focus the wall test that is there asymmetric relationship exist or not so we will focus these two things in this video first of all I have opened the eViews 9 here I will just import the data So I have uh, just imported the data. First of all, what is, uh, I will select the dependent variable. After that, I will select the independent variables of my study. Then I will click for open as equation. This is, these are all variables. I will make it, firstly, I will go for ARDL. I will select the basic lags that is one and zero. And then I will press okay. So this is the case while we have open an ARDL equation. Now, what should we have to do? If we want to make a non-linear ARDL equation using this, it shows an error. No threshold variable is listed. So how to deal and how to fix this problem? So it's very easy. Firstly, you will click on view. Then we will go for the label. Here we will write as a was a s y v a r s then place a colon and for that variables we want to make the non-linear ardl we want to check the positive and negative shocks we will just write the names here suppose i am interested in pr this is the personal remittance and i am going to check the impact of personal remittance on the environmental sustainability so i just click on the personal remittance now if i click on the make non-linear ardl equation it gives me the positive and negative shocks of the variables we can see that here the personal remittance positive and personal remittance negative is generated so what is the next step to do with the and uh, to do with the wall test how can we apply how can we conduct the wall test so the first problem is resolved the second issue for this video is about the wall test so we will just go to the estimate equation okay we will go for the estimate equation from here we will select the uh, 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 we will just click uh, uh, okay here because we have the positive and negative shocks we will go for the long run and short run estimate suppose these are my short run estimates i will just copy all this okay then i will estimate uh, and select the step wise least scare then remove all this and copy those short run variables i have just selected arrange all these short run variables that i have just copied uh, from the previous ardl equation after this you will put a d along with the dependent variable of your study suppose co2 is my dependent variable so i will just click here press c and separate it the other thing is go for the options you will select the unidirectional and then the p value 
the probability value must be 0 0.05. This is the significance level. So now all the things are fine. We will just press OK. After this, we will go for the representation. So we can see that here the variable of positive and negative shocks are appeared on C4 and then on the C5. It means that we can check the wall test at uh, at coefficient value of 4 and coefficient value of 5. We will just go on view, click on the wall test and then C into 4 is equal to C into 5. Just press OK and this will give you the wall test results for the NARDL or asymmetric equations. Here we are interested in the values of F statistics and the value of the probability. So the uh, probability values do not exist at the short run. So we are now interested for the long run. So what to do? Just go here. Click on uh, or uh, go here. Estimate. Now we will copy the long run variables. Just copy here. Okay. And then go for the least scare, stepwise least scare. Then copy all the long run variables here. Arrange all these variables. We will type D along with the dependent variable. The dependent variable is U2. Bracket close, press a C here and go for the options. In the options, we will select the unidirectional and then for the P value, we will interested in the significance level of 0 0.05. Go to the specifications, all the things are done. Now just press OK. So here we can see the representations and we can see that the uh, the uh, asymmetric variable of our study is personal remittance positive and personal remittance negative. So we can see that these variables appear at C3 and C4. So we are interested in this view. Go to coefficient diagnostics and click on the wall test here. C3 is equal to C4 and just press OK. Here are the results of the long run. So we can see that this is the F statistic and this is the probability value. The probability value is insignificant, is higher than 0 0.05. So we cannot conduct the, we cannot conduct the asymmetric analysis for this variable. If the value of probability should be significant, then we will deal with the NARDL analysis. Uh, so this is all for today video. Uh, I'm thank you to you. Uh, I uh, if you want to uh, subscribe this channel, you can have such sort of uh, ad videos in the future. Uh, click and uh, like and subscribe the channel so that you can receive such sort of videos, informative videos in the future. Thank you.